24-7 storm track weather with meteorologist Alexis Clemens. Well, we're going to take a look at your current clouds and radar here at 1117 this morning. You might have woken up this morning or you might still be watching out the window this morning and wondering, is this it? Absolutely not. We were still expecting that higher accumulation total, the worst conditions, the heavier snow to come in the later hours of Tuesday, and they're on the way. You can see we are now all covered in snow across southern Wisconsin. Some light, some moderate, some heavy, and that's going to be kind of what we fluctuate between through the next several hours. So let's track this out hour by hour for you. It's we, and we talked about this this morning. The worst conditions are still yet to come this afternoon and evening commute. This morning was pretty good afternoon and evening commute probably going to be much more difficult and we will have coverage then as well. But as we continue through the next several hours, some of that snow going to be heavy at times. That's where that accumulation really picks up and this is a day long event. So once all is said and done, we're going to see several inches of that wet, heavy snow on the ground. This continues into the evening hours. Like I said, after the sun sets, we should see some lightning in that snow intensity. Also, this is an, an interesting fact for you. When that low pressure system, which we're expecting to pass through Chicago, when we're on the northwest side of it, just to the northwest of the low, that's usually where the heaviest of the precipitation is. And that's what we're going to be seeing later on this afternoon and evening. Finally, some just flurries uh, kind of near midnight or so, and then it tapers off. That winter storm warning is in effect until 3 a.m. Then we do, will see some improvements, but if you are not going to touch your car until tomorrow morning, just know there will be plenty to clean off. Then we get a little break, a very, very tiny break. Tomorrow should be dry. Wednesday night, we're tracking another round of snow. This one is much, much smaller. This is just a clipper system, and it's likely going to happen after the sun sets on Wednesday, and it likely will be done before the sun rises on Thursday. So this is a Wednesday night system, a little clipper system, going to provide a couple more inches of snow. So this is your 12 hour radar estimated snow accumulation, higher totals to the northwest right now because those areas have seen that heavier snowfall but that is going to be on the way. Please send us in your totals as well if it is safe to do so. Uh, that is very, very helpful. So additional snow totals from the heavy snow we're expecting later on today. An additional four to five inches, definitely not out of the question. And then adding on with that little clipper system Wednesday night, uh, we would be seeing an extra inch, maybe two. So we're still on target for our snowfall forecast that we made yesterday. Seven to nine inches still there. And just know again, this is wet, heavy snow, what we call heart attack snow. Uh, so just make sure if you are shoveling, stay hydrated, take several breaks. Uh, really, uh, if you can use those uh, snow blowers and plows, that would be uh, better. So we've got this winter storm Tuesday, then this little clipper system Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. And then we're mostly cloudy on Thursday. So I talked about it, three snow chances, another potentially big snowstorm on the way for Friday, but it's all going to depend on that track. So stay with us over the next couple of days, but several more inches of snow possible Friday and into early Saturday. And then look at those temperatures. It cools down into Sunday and Monday. High temperatures in the single digits with lows below zero.